Hey guys, I'm Rehana and in this video I want to show you how to create a navigation drawer in Kotlin. Let's start. Okay, here uh, I have a new project and uh, first of all I want to add uh, view bonding in the project. Okay, here. If you uh, didn't know about rebounding, don't worry, just uh, see my uh, tutorial about rebounding, it's complete uh, tutorial about rebounding. Okay, sync it. Okay, sync it successfully. Uh, now, uh, for navigation drawer, we need uh, a menu. Here, you need to right click and then uh, new and then Android resource file. Here you should uh, select menu in the resource type and you can add a name that you want. For example, nav menu. Then OK. Here uh, you should add your item. Item ID, for example first item and then you need title first sorry first item and then you you can duplicate this one for second item And for last one, okay, uh, you can add a lot of item. And uh, here, uh, for this video, uh, is enough. Okay, and also you need uh, another XML. nav header okay and here in the in that activity you won't show your navigation drawer you need some changes Okay, first of all, you need to change this one to driver layout here. And then uh, you need to add a constant layout as a, your activity uh, body. I want to put it there and I want to change it activity body is here and here you need to add navigation view yes this one and uh, you need to set your uh, navigation header and also you need to set your menu in the navigation view okay yes this one and also I want to set gravity to start and also set fit system windows to true 
Okay, and I guess everything that we need uh, is on. And also I want to add ID in this item. Yes, here uh, we are of uh, we are done with uh, this XML. Also, uh, we prepare uh, our item of our menu, and also here I want uh, to set some background. For example, okay, and also I want to set. Um, a heart for this one for example yes this one is enough for us and uh, you know here you can put everything uh, text view image view uh, for example I want to edit this one uh, and show you how it's work Yes, is enough. Okay, and now I want to add some code in the main activity class to recognize and prepare my navigation drawer. Okay. Okay, first of all, I want to add view binding here. Latinate var binding. Yes, this one. And here. Binding activity inflate, yes, layout inflator, yes, and uh, here I need add binding dot root, okay, and here I need another uh, variable that name of uh, toggle. Okay, here, uh, this variable help us uh, for control our navigation drawer and, uh, you know, it's a, like icon in the action bar and with that icon, uh, we can control our navigation drawers to open or close. Okay, and here. Okay, here I want to add some code. Yes, it's true. This main activity and my drawer. Oh, I didn't set ID here for my drawer layout. ID, ID, draw uh, layout, and here I need to pass it. Yes, and uh, the last one I need to set uh, some string. I okay, here open, and the another one or that. A string dot close. Okay, I need to define my a string here. Open and uh, close. Open and 
close. Okay. You can see our error is gone. And the next thing I need to set yes here and it should be listen my toggle and then my toggle should sync and support action bar yes is to set display home up enable yes to now, now I want to access to each item of uh, my menu. Uh, if I want to click first item, second item, and third item, something happen. Okay, and now yes, this one is true, and. Yes. Okay. R dot ID dot first item. And I want here for in here for my second item and also for my third item. And here I want to pass two. Here I want to just show toast. For example, oh, sorry. Yes, this one. First item. Yeah. Also. Do the same thing. For my second item. Also for my third item. And now I want to add uh, override function. On an option item selected, yes, this one. And here, if my toggle dot an option selected item equal with pass item so pass item is return true yes uh, everything is done uh, we don't need to anything more and please let's let's start and see our result could i pause the video uh, because take a long time for her uh showing my emulator and uh then i recording again uh, here you can see our result of code um this item is our toggle button you can see when i click change automatically i mean the icon changes automatically and uh, this part uh, as you see uh, in our nav header xml this file here and uh, this item you can see are uh, related to this one and also when you click on each item 
uh, we expect say a toast. Yes, you can see it. All right. Just that. Okay, if you like this video, please leave me comments, subscribe my channel, and like the video. Uh, your support encouraged me to recording more video, and uh, thank you for watching.